Hello there. It's uh, nice to be back. We are playing uh, Idle Hands. This is a new game that just came out today. And it is by uh, uh, Pocket Games, I believe, is what I saw. Um, but its biggest sponsor is uh, GMG, Green Man Game. Now, there, I, this is not any kind of promotion or anything, so don't think that. But literally, that's where I get. 80% uh, of my games <laughs> um, So I was like, you know what Steam's coming out with a cool game or not Steam uh, GMG I was like, let's go ahead and try it as you can see I have not played this no continue There's no replay levels nothing. I have not played this before so we are going to Learn this together <clears throat> For centuries the furling tribes fought each other for control over the land Eventually, with their world ravaged by war and the furlings on the brink of extinction, the tribal leaders called out to the heavens for aid. Their call was heard by a cruel and twisted god who came to the furling world intent on ruling over the scattered tribes and crushing them into submission. For years, the malevolent deity ruled over the furlings, breaking their spirit and warping them into his loyal subjects. All opposition was crushed mercilessly. In desperation, the leader of one of the last remaining three tribes called out to the heavens again, pleading for a kind and compassionate god to save his people from their suffering. A young and inexperienced god heard the cries and knew that they were the only one who could stand between the dark god and the total destruction of the Furlings. That god is the only one who can bring peace to the Furlings world. That god is you. Oh man. We are young and experienced. Inexperienced. Have your woodcutters run out of trees, create rain over the lands, grow more. So yeah, from my understanding, this is a god game. Um, you don't control the tribe, but you're trying to provide them with the means to um, to defend for themselves. Welcome, bold mighty one. Welcome, old oh, mighty I'm one. Voiceover. We furlings have waited long for your coming. You must help us defeat the enemy and save the three tribes. As the oldest and wisest of the tribe, I will be your guide. Let me show you our home. Press and hold your left mouse button to select the terrain. Keep the left mouse button pressed and move your mouse to look around our village. Okay. It's a nice village you got here. You can rotate your view by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse backwards and forward. Well, how fierce in advance. Whoa. As a god, you have power over the land itself. First, I will teach you to raise mountains. Simply click on the raise land icon in the bottom left of the screen, or press the R key. So raise land, I assume this one. Yeah. So I can do that. Do this. Creating mountains is a great way to raise a barrier between your village and the enemies or to remove areas of flat land near their borders to slow their expansion. You can also lower the land. To do it, click on the lower land icon in the bottom left of the screen, or press the P key. I shall lower this land. Lowering the land is a good way of removing mountains quickly. You can also use it to expose resources hidden under the ground. Your furlings need areas of flat, empty land to build on. You can make some by clicking on the flatten land icon in the bottom left of the screen, or press the F key. You can expand a flat area by doing this next to it. Hmm. Flattening land for your furlings to build on costs twice as much matter as simply raising or lowering. So you should think carefully before you start expanding your village. Every time you use your powers, you spend mana. mana. This is the energy you gain from the worshipping of your people. 
the bigger your population, the faster you gain mana. You can see how much mana you have left in the bar on the left of the screen. You can only use your powers when the appropriate icon is lit up. Hmm. If you want to move quickly from one location to another, you can use the overhead map. To use the overhead, click on the map in the top right of the screen, or press the space key. The space key. Whoa. Simply click on a location to center the view on it. Click on the map mm. in the top right, or press the space key again to zoom in. Don't worry, the game is paused in this view. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's kind of like our quick pause. If you need a break, you can pause the game at any time by pressing the escape key. Select resume to return to the game. Escape. Ah, look, everything here. Oh, cool, it gives you a quick... Oh, that's, that's neat. So this is where you can quickly see all your hotkeys. Fantastic. In the middle of each village is the origin stone. This is where tasks are given to unoccupied furlings. To jump directly to the origin stone, click on the origin stone icon in the top left of the screen. It is the third icon. Or you can press the return key. Doing this for a second time will take you back to your original location. So do this. Okay. Your furlings can't build new buildings without wood. Click on the brown woodcutter symbol to turn one of your idle furlings into a woodcutter. All workers okay. will start by building a home. After a woodcutter has built their hut, they will head out to cut down nearby trees and bring them back for your furlings to build with. The icons on the right of the screen show you how many of each type of furling is living in your village. Oh, this. You can see how much wood is available on the icon at the top of the screen. Each woodcutter's hut only has room for 10 units of wood, and the forests can only sustain 10 woodcutters. It's important to have enough farmers to feed all the furlings in your village. Click on the green farmer symbol to make one Why now. Why are my furlings naked? I'm just asking. This one's old man's clothes. Everyone else here is naked. You can keep track oh, of how is. much food is required and how oh, much is being hat. produced in your village on the green icon at the top of the screen. The land can only support 10 farmers. If there's not enough food to feed everyone, the first number will turn red and your furlings will start starving. Click the origin stone icon to leave the origin stone. Okay. Up to five unoccupied furlings will stand around the origin stone. When you assign a task to one, a new one will appear after a few seconds. Make sure you have enough food to feed them all. The key to expanding your village is to carefully balance the numbers of each type of furling. Remember, the more furlings you have, the faster your mana grows. As your furlings build more buildings, your village boundary will this expand. This is so cute to listen to. Growing your borders will give you access to more resources and keep your furlings better protected. There is much more for you to learn, but that will have to wait until later. You are needed elsewhere in the fight against the enemy. Yes, old furling. Use your totem to make your soldiers attack the enemy village or patrol other areas of the map. Oh, the land of plenty. The enemy has started mm. attacking our villages near his borders. Your people need supplies to hold off the enemy forces until you can reach them. This land is far from the enemy and is the perfect place to build up resources. Flatten plenty of land, then make farmers and woodcutters. Alright, make two of each for now. To supply our besieged villages, you'll need to create at least five farms and gather 30 units of wood. Alright, yeah, two of each so that way my farmers, I can uh, raise this cap. Uh, yeah, the food. <laughs> yeah, the food, that thing. Alright, I'll need to flatten some land, right? 
let's let's flatten this area right here. Let's go ahead and flatten that as well. Let's flatten that. You good? Okay. Oh, I'm out of mana. I don't have enough farms to feed my village. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Let's go back to the origin zone. Let's create one more farmer. Ah, patience, patience, young one. We we got some. Hold on. <laughs> Let's create one more farmer. I think that's it, right? I needed five farmers. So that should be five if I'm keeping count correctly. Over here, right? Six, four, what? Whatever. Anyways. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and create one more wood here. Oh, damn. I keep having to press that. Alright, there we go. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Alright, one more flat land. Uh, let's flatten this area right here. And then let's flatten this area right here. And then let's flatten this area right here. And then this right here. And then this right here. And I have enough mana for one more. Let's go ahead and flatten this area. Alright. There should be enough for them to expand for a bit there. And I'm out of wood choppers. What? Alright, we got another one. Two more there. And then one more farm. Alright, we got six there, four here. Six farmers, four woodcutters, five idle. Should I make more then? I probably should make more. Alright. Ah, turn. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get two more of those, and then two more of those, yeah? Okay. And that should be good right there. Flatten that out. Let's flatten that out. Let's flatten this. Let's flatten that as well. Let's flatten that. Nah, we're out of mana. Oh, we have one more. Uh, let's flatten that. Oh, that's... There's kind of a hill right there. Alright, hold on. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. So there's that. Whoa, did I... Okay, I was gonna say. Did I just create the wrong one? No. Alright. So we have nine farmers, eight woodcutters. One of them's idle, which is fine. Flatten that out. And let's go ahead and flatten this out as well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Look overhead here. Yeah, we're doing just fine here. All right, let's go ahead and flatten this. Give them some more wood. Alright. And there's three more. So we're gonna do this and then two more woodcutters. Alright. I need more mana. Now, didn't it say I need like five farms or something? I'm pretty sure I have five farms now. What was my objective? Yeah, that one needs to be raised a bit. I think I'm good. Like, what else is needed here? There we go. Good job. Those resources could make all the difference in this war. Thank you, Papa Ferling. <laughs> the land of plenty completed. Alright, continue. 
Use your totem to make your soldiers attack the enemy village or patrol other areas of the map. People power! Still it's story. It won't be long before you'll have to face the enemy. So you need to learn how to fight back. You will do, Papa Fairling. Before you can build an army, you need weapons. And you can't make weapons without iron. There are several ore deposits in the hills around this village. Find one and lower the land to fully reveal it. Yes, sir. I assume this, right? Now push the land down to expose... You're going to need a blacksmith to turn that iron into weapons. Go to the origin stone and select the dark blue blacksmith icon to assign one. Blacksmith. Great. Here's some iron to get you started. Select the red shield and... You can direct your soldiers around the map by placing a totem in the ground. Move a short distance away from the village and find a place to set your new soldier. Alright. So... Throw down a totem, right? That's what he said? Select the totem icon in right. the top left of the screen. Stay there. If you place your totem inside the enemy borders, your soldiers will attack. Place it in your village to make them defend your borders. Or place it anywhere else to send your soldiers to that location. When you have your totem placed, using the cycle icon in the top left of the screen, will cycle between it, your origin stone, and your original location. You can also use the shift key. Your powers use a lot of mana, so wouldn't it be great if there was a way to boost it? Luckily, you can turn one of your followers into a priest to inspire your followers. Go to the origin stone at the center of your village and activate the light blue segment with the staff icon on it. Excellent. I like how they all change colors. It's kind of cool. Any of your furlings standing close to a temple will generate twice as much mana for you as usual. Priests are also a great way to protect your village. They'll convert invading enemy furlings into one of your followers. I'm afraid we must leave your training there for now. I've just learned that the enemy has begun invading our lands. You must help us fight back. I shall. Let's go. Try lowering the land below the waterline to halt the enemy's advance. Oh. Oh, I will. I will drown them. A threat from the north. Winter's coming. Hello, Papa Furling. Great one. Your people need you. The enemy is invading this land. While the enemy is still securing their position, they are weak. You should build up your forces and attack before they grow stronger. To support an army, you will need to build more farms, as well as collect iron for their weapons. Try to build an army large enough to defeat the enemy. Oh, this one's gotta be lowered, it's what it has to be. I shall do so, Papa Furling. So we need more woodcutters and farmers to get farmed up here. Uh, do we know where they are? Hold on. Do we know where they are? Ah, they're up here. All right, all right. So let's sink this area. Well, no, let's wait till we know they're moving and then we're gonna sink that area. All right, I see y'all up there. I see y'all up there. All right. And farm wood one more time. Here. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh. Yeah, I do need to make more flat land here. I need more mana to do that. Chopping down the trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flatland there. I'll need a blacksmith very soon. Oh, can I get one? Yeah, be fantastic. Alright. And then flatten this. Alright, and the 
blacksmith will go iron that out, I assume. Come on, blacksmith right there. Go get it. Good job. Alright, can we flatten this yet? Nope, need more mana. Arr. They're not coming yet, are they? No, they're not. Okay. You know, I will say something up front. I kind of dislike that I can't zoom in, zoom out. I would love, like, a little, just a little bit bigger. This feels a little claustrophobic right here. Like, really, really small. Let's go ahead and flatten this way. Because if, if anything, they're going to come through right there. So I need to flatten a little more black backwards for my village. But I didn't flatten this area right here. Not at all. Uh, all right. Let's get some more of those. Some more farmers. Let's flatten this. Flat. Ah, I need more mana. I almost got it. I almost got the mana. Almost. Alright, flat. Okay. We are going to repel this attack. Let's flatten that. Alright, uh, we are out. Oh, no, we're not. It's right there. Okay. farm and some more woodcutters all right let's flatten this area let's flatten this area let's flatten that area how far along are they they have three warriors four warriors oh man i need my warriors already like very soon. How far along am I from him? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Three iron, three wood. I don't have enough iron just yet. Could have sworn. Didn't I make another one? Alright. Some more of those. Actually, a lot more of those. I want a bigger village. Bigger one. Make it bigger. Alright, let's flatten that. Let's flatten this. Let's flatten that. I know, little guy. I know. We will survive this day. They're not coming yet. Okay. <laughs> Need to make sure. Alright, this is being farmed, right? Like... Oh, I have enough for a warrior, don't I? What am I missing? Three iron and three wood. Yeah, I got plenty enough. Why? What is going on there? I need more iron to do that. I have three iron, right? No, I have three... Derp. What is going on here? That's what this is, right? Come on. Where? Hello? Can I throw that down? Alright, hold on. Am I missing something? Rain, lightning, earthquake, meteor, radio solar. Oh, I need to reveal it. So it's still underground, isn't it? Derp. Alright, P, right? There we go. I'm sorry, little guys. Oh, hey, look at that. See how like, so that's just like the shape of a hand? Because you're pushing it down. You get it? Is it revealed now? Iron workers, where are you? Where are they? Yeah, it's revealed. Okay. I'm sorry, little guys. I had to. I had to do that. All right, here. Let's go ahead and make some more room over here. All right. That. That. Whoa! Hello. Uh, lower. Much lower there. Ah, not enough mana. Oi day, oi day, oi day. All right, I'm pushing. All right, now flatten that out. 
Fantastic. That's how we do. That's how we do. All right. Okay. Let's some more farms for giggles. Let's get a warrior up in here. Yeah, that was really derpy of me not paying attention to the the uh the ore wasn't being revealed. Like that was that was very sad. How much is it for a priest? Two iron, eight wood. All right, so I need one more iron, right? Uh, go back to flattening this out. I'm conflicted. I assume I should sink this little area. Right, our village is expanding, so that's good. We have 15 in food, extra food, so I'm not farm heavy just yet. Yeah, pull that down. Pull that down. Just a little mountain range over here. There we go. This down. Alright, pull that down. Alright, oh, priest. Wait, what? Two iron nate wood. I definitely have that much. What am I missing? It doesn't even say what I'm missing. Blacksmith, six wood. What? I need six blacksmiths? What? Whatever, just create another one. Alright, let's go back to flat now. <laughs> flat. Enemy benevolence deity. They are tearing this land apart, just saying. I mean, I guess it's their job, but still. Alright, okay, another warrior here. I have no idea when they're going to invade. You will need to connect the islands before you can attack. Oh. Raise the land between the islands to let your soldiers cross. Remember, to make your soldiers attack, you need to place your totem in the enemy village. Can I do this? You can't change enemy lands. Oh, I can't like lower that. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Come on, water. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would like go in there. All right, so. Let's get a few more soldiers before I do that. Alright. Now let's go my soldiers. We will rise to fight them in a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Where were we? Okay. Not enough of those. Lower this actually. Just a little bit here. Alright, and then we're gonna raise this up. Let's do it. T. Let's go, my soldiers. One more soldier. I like how he looks at his spear and shield like, ooh, that's new. All right, as I said, attack. Oh, there they go. Wait, should I rally everybody? Let's rally everyone first, actually. 
Let's put them all right there and then we'll go down there. And just because I'm a jerk like this. Whoops. I meant put it there. Uh, let's cover this up some more. I don't know if I can access that, although it looks like it came out from it. Well, I'm gonna put it unreachable. Where they can't get it at all. <laughs> I cannot have this. <laughs> you can't have that. <laughs> See, it's too bad I can't hold the button. I would love to hold it and just raise it like that. Alright, come on, my soldiers. Three of them here. Four, five, six. That's a wood person. I think I just have six total, right? Yeah, how much do they have? They have one, two, three, four. Looks like they just have four, so I should be able to win this fight. They have four soldiers and a farmer. And I should have six up here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're waiting for the six guy. So yeah, I should be able to win this fight with six of them. What are y'all doing? You're shaking, your, you're shaking the bugs out of your head. Oh, my little furry creatures have lice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and flatten this area out. I'm gonna give y'all complete access. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's enough. All right, let's go. I think I just somehow destroyed their farm. Just saying. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do, actually. Oh, whatever. Let's go. Go, my soldiers, go! Stop shaking the bugs out of your hair. Get him. Get him. Are y'all in love? What are you doing? Don't, don't kiss him. Kill him. Oh, it's their help. I was gonna say, like, whoa. Hey, right, I need some more soldiers. Just because that's the type of person I am. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can sink their village again. Oh, damn. Ah, damn. Oh well, I guess it can't happen. Get him! Get him! Get him! You can do it! I got him! Can you, like, destroy their stone? Attack this guy! Do it! They're just gonna go wherever. Okay. Well, let's go back to my place. Let's, uh. Macro management at its best, huh? Ah, oh, I just destroyed one of my houses. Oh. Let's flatten these out. I need more mana. Whoa, who are you? Oh, it's a woodcutter. Whatever. His village can be destroyed. If he wants to screw around, then by all means. Victory! Well done! Your furlings in this land are safe once more. However, one battle does not win the war. There are more lands under siege. Last words, Papa Furling. 